What is going on guys, Aaron here for another video. Today we're going to be talking about the 2020 Apollo RFC pit bike. Let's get into it. Now if you guys do have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I will answer them and uh, get your response that hopefully answers your question. And uh, if you guys are interested in seeing uh, some trail riding of this bike, I will leave a card and you can just click on the card and I'll take you over to some pit bike trail riding. So if we are going to review the bike, uh, first things first, we need to know exactly what bike we are talking about. Uh, this is not the X18, this is not the X15, this is not a 007, this is not any of those Apollo dirt bikes. Uh, this is a completely redesigned frame. Uh, it's specifically for this bike, which is the Apollo Open. There is a completely different cradle design for the engine uh, inside this frame. Now, the differences between these bikes, uh, the reason is the United States does get a different variant of this bike than Canada does. Canada gets the Open model, whereas the States uh, continues to get the X18 model. So there is a bit of confusion. Uh, I had the same thing when I was trying to look at this bike online. You're looking for videos of it and trying to find some information about it and uh, you see all these videos on the X18 thinking that that is this bike and it's not. It's a completely different bike from everything except for the engine from the X18 is the exact same inside of this open model. It's just a different frame design. I'm gonna talk a little bit about engine specs here. We do have a 125cc uh, four-stroke carbureted engine uh, which has Plenty enough power to uh, have some fun and uh, get up to no good with. Yeah. Now being only 125 cc, some of you guys are thinking this thing might not have enough power for you. It's about 9 horsepower. Uh, honestly, for me, it's been plenty enough to have fun, get around, and get enough speed to scare you, but not enough that if you wipe out, you're going to hurt yourself that bad. The bike has enough power to be able to be in third or fourth gear, running down the road, and just being able to give it a good wrap of throttle, and you can pop the front tire up and get over potholes or puddles, and it's it's the thing has plenty enough power that uh, you can get around easily on these bikes and have lots of fun. Uh, it does come with a four speed transmission so all the way at the bottom then you shift up one for first gear second third fourth and then all the way down for neutral as well as a clutch uh, on your left hand the clutch itself uh, is on the stiffer side of things uh, I do prefer to pull it with at least two fingers on this one. You can get away with it one finger sometime, but it does become a little bit tough with the one finger. But generally speaking, I've had no problems e uh, easily slipping the clutch on trails when you're trying to do some technical climbing on a bike. Even though it is a pit bike, you can still go and uh, go up some pretty rocky, gnarly stuff with this as long as you know how to slip a clutch. And even then with the four stroke, you can bog this engine pretty good and just not even have to be in throttle, just a hair of throttle and this thing will just keep crawling up the hills, no problem. What is nice about this bike is it does come with dual disc brakes front and rear which is nice as a lot of the older Japanese bikes that you'd get in the same sort of price range usually come with a drum rear brake which the disc is a huge huge advantage over the drum. Now this bike is equipped with some volt suspension. Uh, it is adjustable in the rear. We do have a adjustable uh, perch just like you would on a coil over in a car same dealio here uh, as well as at the very top up there you can uh, adjust psi for stiffness and then when we come around to the front we have volk suspension as well uh, not entirely sure on the travel here but uh, it's been plenty enough and it's uh Stiff, it's the correct stiffness, I'd say, for my weight. I'm about 140 pounds, and this bike seems to be like just set up perfectly for that weight, which is uh, convenient. Now, this bike does only come with a kickstart feature, there is no electric start. Uh, it is relatively easy to start and usually starts up first, second kick every time. No problem, I've never had any issues with cold starts, uh, just fires up every time. So, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll turn it on and just see if we can get it to quickly boot up right from the get-go here. Cold start, hasn't been run at all today. 
Go ahead and turn the fuel on, choke on, kill switch on, make sure she's in neutral. He is on. No problem. Of course it's cold, so it's gonna die. It's not uh trying to keep it running. Now one point of confusion where the difference is between the X18 uh, or any of the other Apollo dirt bikes that I uh, didn't really notice until I had already purchased the bike and it started coming on its way to my door was that this bike is actually equipped with a 14 inch front tire and a 12 inch rear tire so it's not the conventional 17 front 14 rear that you see on all the other Apollo dirt bikes so this does have the uh, smaller diameter tires which is all right and it feels suitable. Uh, it is a really nice height, which I've really enjoyed about this bike that when you're sitting on it, I'm able to go completely flat foot, which is nice for when you're in a more technical situation. Some things that I really have enjoyed about this bike are the easeability for fixing everything. Everything on this bolt is like a, a 14 millimeter or a, just an Allen key, a 10 millimeter. Everything's just really simple and easy to work on on this bike. Uh, just make sure you're not over tightening anything because these are just Chinese bolts, so you will strip them out. So these bikes are quite moddable, uh, and if you are looking for a bit more top end or wanting to change the gearing, it is quite easy. You can just pop off this cover here, which is a couple of Phillips screws. Uh, and then inside there, you will find one of these gears. So on there comes stock with, uh, I believe it is a 14 tooth uh, gear. So I've got a 16 tooth here to make the gearing a bit longer, just to test that out. Uh, with the bike and see how that changes things. I really do like how it works currently uh, when you're going really slow up on the trails is you're just able to just crawl this thing and do able to, you know, one to two kilometers like walking speed up a trail and the bike does not want to stall out and it'll kind of just keep putting up along the hill easily. So I want to retain that, but I do want a little bit more top speed. As say when I'm riding with someone who has a 252 stroke like this gas gas here, uh, he's in fourth gear kind of putting along cruising. I'm in fourth gear. I'm half on throttle and you know I got I got a bit more to go But I don't want me sitting revving it at six seven thousand rpm the whole time or whatever rev limits at right? So I would like a little bit more top end so when you're cruising on the fire roads to trail You can go a little bit quicker per se just top end without revving it out so much uh, Other than that, it's uh, really nice gearing, but we'll play around with that some more uh, as well as I do still have the stock carb. So everything on this bike is still completely 100% stock. I do have a couple upgrades coming in the mail. So I do have a genuine, uh, one of the Makuni carbs coming in to replace the OEM one. Uh, as well as I do have a set of 17 and 14 inch tires coming in for it, uh, as well as some of the foldable levers. So when you do fall, these ones tend to snap because they they can't give away per se. They will just break because there's no foldable action. They just go the one way or the other ones can actually fold back. So if you do a digger, this won't bust off, which happens like nine times out of 10 when you wipe out. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you have any questions about the Apollo dirt bikes, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this review, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really uh, helps out the channel. And like I said, if you are interested, I'll leave a card up above uh, if you want to check out some trail riding with this bike because uh, it was a lot of fun and there are some deep ass puddles and some gnarly rock climb so you should check that video out.